Yo, what's up, everybody out there in Radio Land? This your boy Keith Harris right here on Global Network Hotline Radio. All right, without any further ado, we've been waiting for this moment all week long. We got my man Carlos Morgan in the house, all the way coming all the way from Toronto, Canada, to talk to Hotline Radio and let us know what's been going on with him. What's going on with you, Carlos? I'm all right, man. It's all good, man. How you doing, Keith? I'm doing wonderful over here, man. Enjoying the sunshine. Staying blessed, man. I'm, everything's all right. So, uh, so what's going on, man? You up there? In, where you at? You, I know you do a lot of traveling around. You in Toronto right now? or? Yeah, I'm in Toronto. Uh, my home city, hometown. Shout out to uh, everybody listening from Toronto and everybody out there in North Carolina where you at. Yeah. Um, you know, performing, recording. And uh, recording new records, so you know, staying focused. You know, just when I'm at, when I'm at home in Toronto, I'm just you know, I focus on I focus on music and work. You know. Okay, okay, so, I hear that. Now let me let me um let me ask you where where did it all begin for you? I mean, like the music career itself. Like, when did you know that that that's what you wanted to do? Um, I knew music was what I really wanted to do when I was around nine around 19, when I could turn 19 is when I really started, uh, when I decided that music is something that I want to really pursue. Right. Well, I was singing through my, through my teenage years and I sang and danced a lot growing up in, you know, uh, high school and I sang in church a lot. I grew up singing in church as most black folks do. Right. And, um, and then when I was uh, 19, I thought, okay, well, there's something I want to do because I, I was performing in clubs, but then I also started doing a bit of musical theater as well. And I thought, okay, this is something I want to do. And uh, and I was in two or three different bands. And uh, and I got people who, were, who had studios, and I'd go into the studio and record songs and record demos. And I thought, okay, I want to pursue this because music, growing up, music was always, it still is, but at that time, it's, it's such, it was such a, a passion and a drive and a... And um, a motiv motivation for me to, to, in every day of my life, you know, music is such such a relevant and prevalent part of my life. And still is. Right. Now, was it, okay, was it difficult for you getting into the music industry? I mean, because you're gifted, obviously. You're gifted. You're a well singer. So... When you got into the industry, were you accepted right off gate, or, or you know, was there any difficultness to it, or? Oh, there was a lot of difficulties to it, and getting into it. And again, when I first got in, um, I just wanted to sing. I didn't know anything about music business. I just thought, you know, I was naive, like uh, most people are starting in. Um, you think, you know, when you see all these people on TV and and. Uh, you know, having fancy cars and singing on major stage, big stages and performing all over the world. And as soon as you open your mouth and people see you, you're an instant star. Um, so, but I, I realized that, uh, you know, it's not like that. And so, you know, years and years and years of, of practicing and performing and meeting and working with other musicians and making a lot of mistakes, um, you know, it took, it took a long time. And there were a couple of guys that uh, I met that believed in me and through the ups and downs, through the hardships, through the trials and tribulations and, you know, fighting, they stuck on my side and, and, uh, and were able to come up with something uh, a, a, lot, a lot longer, a lot later in years. But, you know, that was something that I, had to, I realized that I had to go through. I had to, I had to go through that learning process. Uh -huh. um, to get at least to the first step of my recording career. Right. So, so you know, basically, you did have, you had the people that were supporting you, but at the same time, you know, understanding it, like you say, that it's not all glamour and glitz. Like you say, when people just step on the stage, it's not that inst instantly you're a star. You know what I'm saying? That's right. You, you have That's to... Right. Exactly. Right, you have to go through the all the behind the scenes, uh, the red tape, and, and like you mentioned earlier, the business side of, of the industry as well. Right, right. And I think with most, I think with most people, you know, I, well, I think it's probably changed now because because 
there's such an emphasis on um, learning about the music business and with with how the music business with how the music business has changed um, with the with the internet and having the internet and all the online um, uh, advantages of of, of all, the, you know, all the online advantages of music right that learning the music business is a lot more easier than you know when I was going up and had artists that were you know before me generations before me mm. um, now with with the internet things are so much easier and quicker and because I didn't understand I didn't know anything about songwriting what songwriting was or what publishing was or what a manager is or what an agent is and what you know, I knew nothing. I just wanted to sing. Right. So, so now, um, something that I encourage young people to do is to, you know, educate themselves about the music business. As far as you want to be a singer, a songwriter, or a producer, but you've got to know the business. You've got to know the industry and, and, and really study it, especially when it's changing all the time. Whereas back years ago, I didn't think it changed as quickly as it does now. But, uh, uh-huh. but yeah, it's so important. Yeah, and... You know, like you say, C plus with with social media, as you mentioned before, um, you know, it, it seems like back in the day or a little longer before all the social media broke, it would be a little it actually it seemed like it was a lot more harder for artists to like yourself to really be recognized. So right. because you, you had to have that promotion or you had to have that distribution or else people just did not know who you were. But, you know, with right. social media that helped to boost things a long way. But then I can kind of see, I, I can see the other side where I used to hear artists talk about, you know, with, with even downloading music and things of that nature, which helps keep us in tune. But d- does that, you know, as from the artist side, if you can talk about that, does that does that hurt artists sometimes when people don't have to go buy albums as much? I know if I was an artist and everybody, I mean, does that affect uh, artists directly or, is, or does it not? I think I think I think um, downloading. I, I I'm blatant about it. When people steal music, that's what it is. Just people are stealing music. People, and especially being an independent artist, where you, and for myself, where I'm, you're funding everything on your own. You're trying to, you know, you're trying to make art. You're trying to make music and make good music, and then you know, putting it out there in hopes that people will will buy right. and support. I support the music. When people are stealing the music, it's really, it's really difficult. And I understand now, 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 I don't want to say stealing music is it, there's an advantage to it. Right. But again, when you have people who are downloading your music and they're sharing it with their friends, or sharing it with people, then you know more people are hearing about it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you know, and then if you have opportunity to go to that. When you have an opportunity to tour, and you can get to those places, and people will hopefully buy them, buy tickets to come and see your show. Right. So on that on that side, um, the quote unquote downloading quote unquote is is an advantage to it. But then at the same time, you know, if I'm trying to create more art, I'm create more music, and you know, part of my income, not just. And, and so music is about it. I'm a full time artist. It's what I do full time. Right. So, so as well as trying to create art and to live, and I'm and then doing it independently. When it, people are quote unquote downloading, it's like okay, man, it's like it's 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 it's, it's some. It could be sometimes very discouraging and very disheartening. I can that you you make a good music and people are not willing to spend one dollar. <laughs> or a song that's gonna last a lifetime, but they'll spend one dollar to go buy a cup of coffee that's gonna last for ten minutes. You know what, man? I I can see where you're coming from because it see is is it and, and that's something too that I, I I agree with you on that is it, you know there's a yin and a yang to it because it's okay for people I I guess to find ways to get your music if they like you as an artist and they like your music, but right. just like just like he just said. You know, when 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 people go on tour, or when they're in your city, or the when you when they're in your town, spend some money to actually go out to the concert and support them. You see exactly. what I'm saying, right? Like you know, because like you say, it's an art form, and and a lot of people do do this for a living, and so 
you know, if if I think I think sometimes, you know, people do forget that it is a job and it's work for a lot of you guys. So I, I encourage the same thing. It's OK to, to download music here and there, but support the artist by buying the album and support the artist by also going to see them. Find ways to right. get to give back to the industry because the industry falls apart when people don't invest money back into it. I mean, let's let's be honest, you know, that's true. Now, you see, now I understand. I understand why why downloading has become so quote unquote popular because people because people artists will go into the studio, record you know an album that has one or two good songs on it, and they're spending you know fifteen, fifteen, twenty, twenty five dollars for two good songs. You know what I'm saying so. So so right. we as artists, we as artists have to step up our game and say, listen. I gotta really, I really gotta take the time to write good music because I want people to hear my music and say, you know what, this is good music. I want, I, I, I want, I want to buy it. I don't want to, I want to support this artist, not just going to the show and buying, buying a ticket to the show, but hearing the song and saying, you know, I want to go on iTunes or whatever online radio store or um, whatever online music store there is, and I want to buy this single or buy their album as opposed to I'm gonna go to some downloading site and just you know and, and take it take it there you know exactly i agree i agree all right now yeah. what what we'll talk about now we'll get into this for a minute now um the one of the singles one of the singles i want to talk about as a matter of fact the song that we're getting ready to go into we're going to take a minute and and play one of your tracks um okay. uh uh by everybody i think it's is just is it just just jane or what is it called let the people just know jane, yeah. yep yep just jane and um, we'll, we'll go, we'll run that track for a second. We'll let everybody hear that. Uh, again, we're All listening right. to, to Keith Hurst Show Global Network. We got the award-winning man. We'll get into them awards too, Carlos Morgan, man. Like, you, you've been putting, you, you, you know, you've been putting in work, man. But we're going we gonna to get into that and let the people know about that when we come right back. Right now, All right. Uh, right now, people, radio out there in Radio Land, this is Just Jane by my man Carlos Morgan, right here on Hotline Radio Global Network.
That was Just Jane by Carlos Morgan. You're listening to Keith Hurst Show Global Network, Hotline Radio, just in case you just tuned in. We got my man Carlos Morgan right here with us. Carlos. Yes, I'm here, bro. What's up, man? Now, now, Just Jane, now, now, that song right there, first of all, it lets everybody know that there are no gimmicks and no games behind your voice. You are a singing man. You know what I'm saying? You know how to sing, and it's good. Now, tell us what, tell us about Just Jane and what was your inspiration behind that song? Okay, well, well, I, um, I didn't write that song. Okay. Um, some, uh, a couple of friends of mine that I met back in 2003, okay. uh, they actually wrote the song and the story was that they had originally written the song for NSYNC. Oh, and, uh, okay. And, It's a beautiful song. definitely do because um you know you you the fact that you say who the song was actually uh, originally written for in my opinion the fact that you ended up taking that song vocally and sung it yourself and still brought it to life so much you see what i'm saying meant you know yes. it, it, you you did a great job on it now Thank let's now, now let's go into um all right now first of all i want to say congratulations all right like we, we could talk about the awards now people this man has won a plenty of awards so this is you know again carlos has been doing this for quite some time he's good at what he does he, he you know you're well known okay now so first congratulations on receiving urban musical uh, urban music award okay 
much much music video award. Okay, I, I look, I, I feel like I'm doing um I feel like I'm doing like um nominations, but we're just talking about the stuff that you won. Like, but it's a list of things. Like, okay, so let's see. Um, yeah, uh, Urban Music Award, Much Music Video Award, Caribbean Culture. All right. Best R&B Act and Role Model at 2014 Black Canadian Awards. I mean, you know, are, are there any limitations? Are they? Are they? And, and I'm gonna bring up the other award too in just a minute. But are there any limitations to 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 the heights that you go to, man? I mean, congratulations on all of those. And and how how did it feel? How does it feel to to be recognized like that? Well, you know, to be recognized for. Uh, to be recognized for the work that I, I, I've, I've been doing, um, you know, first and foremost, I give all, I give God all the thanks and praise, mm-hmm. you know, um, and so, and, and to be acknowledged, so to be acknowledged by um, my peers and by um, the general public that hear my music and like my music, you know, I, I'm, I'm always grateful, and it's a wonderful feeling to know that. You know, people here and the people I have to actually see, man, you know, this guy's, you know, putting in the work and not giving up and he's still pursuing his goals and still pursuing his dreams and, and uh, you know, it's it's a wonderful feeling and, and, you know, I'm grateful every day that I can get up and, I can, you know, God has given me this gift to sing and I, you know, I could sing and I could write and, you know, I'm grateful, totally grateful. And for me, for me, I want to get a Grammy. I, would be that for me would be an ultimate. Got a Grammy? Yeah. I'd be like, yeah. Or even nominated for a Grammy. I'm grateful. <laughs> Well, you know what? You're on the right. You're you're definitely on the right track, man. And I, you know, in my eyes, I expect to see you up there one day. Uh, the the winner is Carlos Morgan, and and I, I feel as though you're on your way to it. And I always want want you to know that we, you know, here on Hotline Radio, man, keep her show. We're gonna keep you in rotation constantly and make sure. Make sure that the make sure that the people in the states and and you know worldwide as well get to hear and understand how well of an artist you are. Now, let's talk about this. How was it for you to win a Juno Award? Because you know I, th- that's a big deal. So how, how did it, how did it feel? Well, the, winning the Juno Award that uh, and that winning the Juno Award that again that was that was big that was that was really big for me and um the year that i won the juno and for the album my first album i wasn't really expecting to win uh-huh. but uh you know winning the award has been um has been a very positive uh has been, still has had it has a very strong positive impact on my career and um again very grateful to have won the juno and it just says that you know um, I've, I've been I've been recognized and, and acknowledged for my work and right. acknowledged for my music and acknowledged for my singing and you know that to me yeah. is uh, mm-hmm. winning that Juno was big and again the Juno is equivalent to the Grammy. Right. I don't find the Juno is as big as the Grammy, but it's equivalent to the Grammy. And again, so to to be to to win Canada's highest. Uh, achievement in music again it's, 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 a, it's a huge accolade you know what and and I'm glad you pointed that out because I, I, w- I was getting ready to do that if you hadn't for the people who you know who are listening who don't know um, I'm sure the can you know Canadians know but for the people who don't know uh, a Juno award just like he said is pretty much you know for my American listeners is pretty much the equivalent or is the equivalent of a Grammy award okay right. so right uh, it's just the award that's in another country you know what I mean? Right. So, so um, you see, I don't, I don't know many people outside of. I, I know there's people in the U.S. that there are people in the U.S. that know what a Juno is, but I think there are the majority of people in America don't have never really heard of the Juno Award. If you're in the music industry, and uh, if you're, you know, if you have, if you follow Canadian artists, Canadian music. And but I personally I don't I I don't think there's a lot of people in America the majority of people in America know what a Juno Award is but everybody knows what a Grammy is right right no matter what part of the world you are you say American Grammy like everybody in Europe every you know America is the is, is America 
America is the uh, the plateau. In my opinion, America is a plateau to reach. And when you when you say you've won a Grammy or you've been nominated for a Grammy, that is a a huge accolade. Right. And so yes, the Juno Award again is it, 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 it's it's I'm very proud of it um, and I'm grateful for it. I don't want to sound like I'm downplaying it because I am very grateful for Juno. Yeah. But, that is that that's a, a big deal now okay what all right now there's a song you have with thrust is it's featuring thrust as well yeah. and that is going to be on your upcoming album we'll talk about the album and when that's coming out but um the the song you have coming out with uh with thrust featuring thrust uh which is a canadian rap artist um correct that's right. right um yeah. what what about what about that song Okay, so there's a song that's called Be The One Tonight. I wrote um, all the words and the music for that song. It was produced by a Canadian producer and an American producer from Philly. Okay. Um, and I uh, wrote that song because, you know, I'm known to be an R&B soul artist, but I love all genres of music. Right. And uh, I thought, you know, I, I want to step out of my comfort zone and you know, try something that is, you know, I want to try, I want to do pop dance music. I'm a little bit, I'm a little older than most pop, pop dance mm -hmm. artists, but uh, I thought, you know what, I, I want to try it, and I think I have the ability to do it, and working with the young, you working with a lot of these young producers who are coming up, I think that I could, I could, I could, I could record music and stay true to myself, uh, and because I'm not, I'm not trying to be like Chris Brown and Usher and them, you know, them, these younger artists. I'm staying true to myself, but I feel I still can represent mm -hmm. myself and still try what is currently going on in, in pop music today. So this particular song, be the one to that, which is coming out on my next album, mm -hmm. and it's and that album is actually my name, Carlos, but it's an acronym. I'm not gonna say what it is yet. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right. Um, now, okay. So yeah, we'll definitely be waiting on that. And and when you do release, when you decide to release that track or or, or give be the uh, be the one tonight some airplay, make sure you know send me a copy so I can you know so oh, I can put, sure. so I can put that on and rotate it over here as well. Um, now what uh what to to get into just like your nor you know just your normal life in general when you're not doing with the music and stuff like that what are some of your favorite artists or or people that you grew up listening to yourself like who do you like well, well who i grew up listening to yeah um and again still to this day my favorite singer um stevie wonder hands down for me is number one yes um and you know and then uh luther van joss is a huge influence Marvin Gaye, Teddy Pendergrass, Barry White, those are huge influences for me. Michael Jackson is another huge influence. Um, mm -hmm. um, so real soulful artists. artists. Now, a lot of the artists that I like today, um, I love Pink. Okay. Uh, Joe, Joe, I'm a huge fan of Joe. Mm -hmm. um, Stokely Williams, the lead singer of Men Conditions. Charlie mm -hmm. Wilson is another one I've, I've followed since I first heard him from the Gap Bands in the early 80s. Right. Um, gospel, I grew up singing gospel, and there's a lot of gospel singers. I love Jay Morris, Kim Burrell, Yolanda Adams. Um, I love rock, so there's a lot. I, I, I like classic rock, so um, I like singers like Don Henry. Right. Um, I know jazz, yeah. Nat King Cole, Ella Fitzgerald, Billy Holiday, Sarah Vaughan, you know, um, uh, a lot of it, and but I, I listen to a lot of the new singers that are out right now, and um, great voices, right? But but music and song content, mm -hmm. I find it all to be the same, and it's all based around sex. You are, and, yeah. <laughs> and I find it, I, 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 I find it boring now. Yeah, it kind you know of, yeah, like, yeah. You're right. Uh, um, I, Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I, 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 find, I find it to be, like, I bought the TGT album, and I've been listening to the album a lot. And Tank, uh, Genuine, 
Genuine and Terry's great singers, but the majority of the album is having to do with sex. Right. And then I listen to Chris Brown, and the same thing. I listen to Usher, and I'm sorry, well, not, Usher's not, I don't find Usher to be... But I get what you're saying. <laughs> but uh, yeah. a lot of these artists, like, okay, now this new guy, August Alstine, August know what that's that you know I, I can see where you're coming from because like you say back when back back when we were kind of growing up we could listen to songs and there was some love music too to it yeah. you know a lot of love music but it wasn't quite as vulgar as today sometimes when I turn yeah. on the, you know sometimes when I listen to songs today I wonder what in the world are the kids like I mean they if the kids growing up are listening to this kind of stuff to send these songs it's like whoa you know what I mean yeah. but you know yeah. Yeah, so you know, but so so times have you know times have changed, and a lot of the artists that you named earlier are really soulful singers in general. Now, now let me ask you: when you're not like, what's a normal day for Carlos Morgan? Like when you're not recording a track, or when you're not on tour? Like how 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 do you just go through your day? Like when you're home or the grocery store? Or... Well, most of my days. Uh huh. an honor first of all that's an honor for me to hear that from you because listen i've been a fan of yours i've been a fan of yours from years you know from being back in canada you know from my time in canada so i've been a fan of yours for a long time and uh you know i'm always welcome as well as everybody else you know that i, I try to help out man carlos I'm, I'm always welcome and always on board to um help push you and further you and not 
not just because not be, just because you're a musician uh a, a musician and you know in general it helps promote your premiere but your career but also because just from knowing you personally and knowing that you're a good guy you know what i'm saying thank you and and knowing how how hard you work with your music uh and, and the modesty is just amazing. I mean, you know, the way you, you talk about wanting to reach the next level and to reach other goals and then to look back and to think of the accomplishments that you already made and still be striving for so much more. It's, it's amazing. Um, it shows a, a sincere grind. And, and I can tell that you you go by the motto of no days off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, right. There is it. There is it. Yeah. So, I, you know, so that that's that's a big deal. Now, um. Okay, before I before I go, what I want to get chance because I, I know you're a busy man and you know we we running close to the hour, but for upcoming artists and for artists that are trying to to get into this industry, just just you know real quick, what what advice would you have for them? Well, uh, first is you know believe in yourself, believe in your talent, um, keep believing. Don't give up. Don't listen to naysayers or haters. Because there's a lot of them out here. These backbiting, backstabbing haters. Right. Get rid of them. Um, education. Education. Education is imperative. And, you know, you know, growing up, I wasn't really a fan of, of school and education. But now I am. And especially when it comes to learning about the music business. You know, it's great if you, you know, you, if you have a great voice, you can sing, you can dance, or you can write, you can produce. But I really, I really emphasize for artists or people who want to get into the music business to learn the business, understand what is songwriting, understand what is publishing, understand what is mechanical working, understand what a manager is, what, a, what the difference between a manager and an agent is, understand the difference songwriting and publishing and mechanical royalties understand about you know um, um, what's your image what's your image what's the kind of image and message an artist do you want to be um, um, so it's all about education you know um, 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 learning having having being able to discern about who's honest and who's sincere and in this business 95 percent in my opinion, I and mean, I don't think of a personal experience, ninety-five percent of the people that will say, "Yo, man, I, you're great. I could do this. I could do that." <laughs> Yo, just take your time and and really watch and learn and and do your research and 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 do you know you do your due diligence on and 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 learning about who the people you have around you because again, a lot of people would be like, "Yeah." When you're, when you're rising to the top, it's going to be there. And yeah. then when they see you start to fall off, then That's they're, right. they're, going to be the first, they're going to be the first ones to go and they're going to be the first ones to pull a knife on you and put it in your back and smile in your face while they're doing it. That's, and that's real talk. That is real so, talk. So I, so for young artists who want to get into this business, education is important. Learn the business. Practice. Um, um, keep striving. Keep growing. Um, and yeah, and, and don't get involved in any drugs, you know, and, you know, don't, don't get involved in that, man, because that is a quick way to kill you. And not, not literally, figuratively, figuratively in this business, because, again, I've seen where, thank God I didn't get into drugs and alcohol, because music is my high. In the words of the Lost Boys, music makes me high. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so if, if you want to get, so get your fix on the music and, and just stay focused on the music. Write good music and don't get caught up in what everybody else is doing. Like if you wanna if you wanna be a pop dance artist, if you wanna write about sex, cool, but do it in a way that is different from everybody else. And you don't gotta show your body parts either. Like come on. Yeah. Right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's me. I maybe mean, I'm being old school but No but you I, I, but you see a lot a lot of a lot of the quote unquote old school artists that are still a lot of old school artists are still in the game stage. You may not hear them on the radio as, as much as you did, you know, when they first came out, but they're still touring, they're still selling out shows, and they still respect their audience, and that's the other thing. Learn to respect your audience. When you perform, respect the audience. That's something I tell these young artists that are today. Just don't go up there and, you know, just say, oh, you just open your mouth and sing. Respect your audience, because people 
respect his audience because he realized that because in today's economy where things are so hard right now and people, you know, are, you know, at that time anyways, when the recession was, it, 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 was at its height and people were struggling, and you know, people would still spend their last dollar to go and see him and be like, people don't have a lot of money, they're spending their hard-earned money to come see my show. I'm going to respect my audience. And that means to be on time, show up, be ready, like, don't mm -hmm. come in there and be like, okay, yeah, you're here to spend and I'm, I, I, you know, you spent your money and I'm just going to do what I want. No, show them that you re appreciate what, what, what you're doing and you're spending money to see your show or spending money to buy your music. Right. Yeah, that that makes yeah. sense, man. And, you know, I, I appreciate you putting it that way. A lot of, you know, me as an interviewer, a lot of people will just say things and not really give knowledge behind what's going on. So it's good you know, for you as an artist to still be able to give genuine knowledge that a lot of people really are afraid to do nowadays. And so it makes things really shallow when people won't go yeah. into depth and don't understand the real side of things. So we appreciate you for that. Now, let um let everybody know where they can go check out your music, um, you know, your social network, you know, your Facebook or your website and stuff like that, where they can go find Carlos Morgan and his music and all of that. Okay, well, if you want to, okay, well, those of you who want to know more about my music, go to my website, carlosmorganmusic.com. Um, you can hear songs from my current album, the compilation. Um, see a couple of my videos, check out where I'm performing at Carlos Morgan, carlosmorganmusic.com. You can check me out on Twitter at Carlos Morgan, my Facebook page, uh, carlos.morgan.562. You can check me out there too. And you can go on YouTube. I have quite a number of music videos on YouTube. Um, and uh, you can check out my music there. And if you want to send me a message, please do send me a message on my website or on my Facebook. You know, I, I do my best to stay in contact with people and to respond to people. That's something I, I feel is very important. And that's something that I've learned that, you know, social media. So it's not like back in the day where if you were an artist, it, it, it seemed like artists were so untouchable. Mm -hmm. Now, with social media, you can connect mm -hmm. with your artists immediately, or sorry, with your fans immediately, and those people who support your music. So when people reach out to me and say, oh, Carlos Morgan, I'm a fan of your music, I'm like, I respond right back, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm like, thank you, I appreciate the support, I appreciate the love. And you see, you see and I believe in humility, I, I believe in being humble and being grateful, and so when people reach out to me, I reach out. So if you want to reach out and send me a message, and I'm open to critiques, you know, because I'm still I'm still growing as an artist, right. I'm still learning, and and especially now with with the new generation of young and up and coming singers and songwriters, producers, and I love what's going on. And I want to stay in the game, and I want to stay I want to stay current. So you know, if you have songs or music that you'd like me to hear, I'm open to hearing it. And if there's a possible, if there's an opportunity for us to work together. I'm open to working with any and everybody because you just never know when the next hit book, where the next hit book comes from, or you know what I'm saying? Right. There's some, you know, you got young kids in their rooms who are creating incredible music, and I'm like, if there's a chance that I could work with you, I know I may be a little older, but I still got, you know, I, I, I'm, st I believe I'm still hip and I'm still down with what's, what's going on nowadays. So, yeah. you know, reach out to me, CarlosMorganMusic.com, Facebook, Twitter, I, I'm, I'm here. All right. And yeah, so and people do that. And also, if you want to see his stuff too, check on the Keith Ferris Show Global Network because it will be there as well. We'll, we'll, Carlos, you know, we love you over here. We'll always keep you in the loop. You're welcome to come back anytime. Matter of fact, look Thank for you, me, brother. look for me to be contacting you to come back as well. Oh, for sure, for sure. And I want to send a shout out to Annette, just and my publicist. Thank you, Annette. Love you, girl. Okay. All right, Carlos, man, we're going to get out of here. Thanks for stopping through. Everybody out there in Radio Land, that's Carlos Morgan. Make sure you go check him out. Make sure you listen to him on the Keith Harris Show. Carlos, we appreciate your time, man. We love you. And look, I will see you soon, as a matter of fact. Either I catch you in Toronto or I see you when you come out this way, man. It's always love. You got it. And thank you so much. Thank you so much, Brother Keith. Thank you for the love and the support, man. Thank you so much. No problem, man. You deserve it all the time. All right, Carlos, we'll talk to you soon, brother. All right. That was Carlos Morgan right here on the Keith Hurst Show.